Hello and welcome everyone to today's celebration of the 2021 New Colombo Plant Scholarships. Today we are meeting on Ngunnawal country. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the traditional custodians of the land on which we're meeting and pay my respects to their elders past and present. I extend that respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people joining us from all around Australia today. My name is Ellen Schultz and I was a New Colombo Plan Fellow for 2017. I now work here at the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. I'm here in the DFAT Diplomatic Academy with fellow NCP alumnus Nick Debrez and 2021 scholar Gemma Campbell. I'd also like to welcome and acknowledge the attendance today of their excellencies, the Governor General of the Commonwealth of Australia, General the Honourable David Hurley and Mrs Linda Hurley, and the Secretary of the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade, Frances Adamson. And joining us remotely, members of the Diplomatic Corps, staff and academics from Australian universities, private sector supporters of the NCP, NCP alumni, family and friends, and of course, our NCP 2021 scholars. It's an exciting day for all our new scholars and I invite you all to join in the excitement and conversation through social media using the hashtag New Colombo Plan and joining the feed you can see on the side of your screen. Today we'll be hearing from Foreign Minister Payne as well as Nick and Gemma. But first, I would like to invite His Excellency, the Governor-General, to make some remarks. Well, good afternoon all. It's a great delight for Linda and I to be here today to share uh, this uh, very special recognition of the new Colombo plan and to welcome new scholars into the program uh, for the coming year. Could I also begin by uh, acknowledging the Ngunnawal people and just made the comment around here in Canberra that uh, we live in a beautiful part of the country and we do thank them for caring for this area for generation after generation and I know that same message goes to wherever you're sitting at the present time uh, with the traditional owners. Could I also acknowledge the Secretary of the Department, Ms Frances Addison, Adamson? Could I acknowledge Your Excellencies who are out there? Uh, great to have you as part of this today. Other members of the Diplomatic Corps, to our scholars and alumni, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Linda and I, as I say, are delighted to be here for the awards of cer ceremony this year for the New Colombo Plan Scholars for 2021. Congratulations to all the scholars. You've obviously impressed to gain entry into this program, but you now have it all in front of you, and it's a very, therefore, a very exciting time in your careers. I'm proud to be the patron of the New Colombo Plan because it's a program that has the big picture in mind. Scholars from this plan have an opportunity to represent Australia in the Indo-Pacific region. Australia's relationships with its neighbours are important, particularly given geopolitical and international economic activities in the Indo-Pacific region right now and the dynamics of that for the future. It is a dynamic region and it's critical to our nation's security and prosperity. This plan has been in effect for six years now. The program has supported more than 60,000 scholars and mobility students to live, study, and gain work experience in the region. And that, of course, announced to an enormous amount of networking and relationship building. Alumni are and will continue to be, I think, one of the great assets in our nation. And the alumni program plays an important role in keeping relationships developed with our neighbours and running those into the future, which is so critical. A few words to the 125 new scholars watching online. You are exceptional young Australians and you have demonstrated the potential to be significant leaders in our country's future. When I was the chair of the Rhodes Scholarship Selection Committee in New South Wales over the last five years, looking at so many brilliant young people, one of the discriminators I always looked for was, was that scholar, was that applicant a New Colombo Plan participant? If they were, it told me something about you. It told me that you can apply yourself. It told me that you have aspirations. And it told me that you had breadth of vision about your country, its future and our region. Your areas of interest in this group include business, medicine, engineering and agriculture, indigenous health. All these are critical to the health of societies and to the performance of economies in the region. And as scholars, you will live, study, 
gained work experience in 26 locations across the Indo-Pacific. You will represent 38 of our universities from across the nation. And you are also a diverse group. There are nine Indigenous Australians among you and 44 of you are from regional or remote Australia. I wish every one of you, all 125, every success in your program. And I've said many times, we are at our best as a country when we are inclusive and when we come together. And this program, you as scholars, reflect that. While we can't know for certain what will happen in 2021, we certainly didn't know what was going to happen in 2020, the new Colombo plan nonetheless, nonetheless will remain and provide the opportunity of a lifetime for you. You will make new friends, experience new cultures, increase your skill set and develop both personally and professionally. Whether it be in person or through virtual experience, I encourage you to extend the hand of friendship and to build connections. These interactions will enrich your life and the lives of those in our region. Again, congratulations and good luck. Thank you, Governor-General. I'd now like to invite, um, as a fellow member of the, new, of the NCP alumni, Nick, to share his experiences about what the New Colombo Plan meant to him. Thank you, Ellen, Your Excellencies, and hello to everyone watching us from all over Australia and the Indo-Pacific. My name is Nick DeBrez. I was a 2019 New Colombo Plan Fellow to Brunei Dar es Salaam, and I'm currently the, the Alumni Ambassador for Macquarie University. Firstly, a huge congratulations to all of you. Gemma, Ellen and I can understand the immense effort that you have put in to get here, from the countless drafts and anxiety-provoking waits between rounds, to the fever dreams where you wake up screaming bilateral institutional and people-to-people -people links. We commend you on your efforts. I've been asked today to speak a little bit about my time in country last year and let you know what this experience has meant to me both on program and beyond. Even before you set off on your respective adventures, you'll realise that the new Colombo plan truly is a game changer. I know that you can already list me the main components, the study exchange, interning, mentorships and of course the language training, but it's the everyday reality of these things where the profound changes will spark. The first five months of my program took place in Brunei Dar es Salaam, where I studied at the University of Brunei Dar es Salaam. In classrooms, I found myself as almost an unofficial spokesperson for young Bruneians who wanted to but felt uncomfortable openly asking questions about their laws or beloved Sultan. While volunteering, I got to meet the incredible students of smarter autism Brunei. And I would hear a giggle from their families as one of the kids yelled out, Orang Puter, or white person, uh, while jumping all over me. Even during bushwalks in the beautiful Ulu Tamburong National Park, I found myself stunned not only by the natural landscape, but by the spectacle of the Sultan impressively piloting his private Boeing 747 around his national airspace. During my mentorship with former Australian High Commissioner, Her Excellency Nicola Rosenblum, I was opened up to the art of diplomacy at events like Anzac Day and the welcoming of ADF personnel, Australian Hour events and even the opportunity to speak at the Pakistani High Commission. And while I could not tell you the specifics of each task I undertook while interning at KPMG Singapore over the following two months, not least because Singapore's tiger beers hit a little bit differently to Brunei's halal bubble teas, I can tell you which stalls sell the best biryani or Hainan chicken at my local hawker, and the best place to stand for aircon on the MRT when you're heading to work on a humid morning. It's always a humid morning. But see, as much as I can tell you about my experience, that's all it is, my experience. You now have this unprecedented opportunity to go out there and have your own. So in terms of piece of advice that I can offer you, besides bring a decent camera and a pair of swimmers, I'll give you two. Firstly, be open to any and all friends. The personal connections you'll make in country will define your experience. Good friends and colleagues will orientate you and help you succeed in your NCP goals. But great friends will be lifelong and go far beyond your scholarship program. On an almost daily basis, I still speak to friends from Brunei, Singapore, Pakistan, Japan, Malaysia, the Philippines, even Egypt and Afghanistan. These connections, in combination with the professional and interpersonal skills I gained on program, have led me to do things since which I never would have dreamed possible. For example, early this year, what seems like a lifetime ago now, I was fortunate to travel to Pakistan and Turkey with two friends I met in Brunei. In these countries, I was able to fuel my newfound passion for diplomacy by using the connections I made on program to pick the brains of Australia's High Commissioner to Pakistan and Ambassador to Turkey over a Kashmiri tea and apple tea, respectively. 
My second piece of advice is to take as it, as it comes and be flexible. I dread using the words adaptability and resilience, but they're in the application for a reason. I won't lie to you and say that, you know, my entire experience was all smiles. I'm not ashamed to tell you that there were moments of intense culture shock, loneliness and missing my friends and family. It's just natural. You'll feel every emotion, but it's what you do in these moments that will define your experience. You will learn to persevere and realise that when things do not appear to be going to plan, that becomes your new plan. I'm yet to meet a single scholar whose experience went exactly according to what they had proposed. For me, it was things like an internship in India falling through, only to be opened up to an even better opportunity in Singapore. Or even in the space of 24 hours, finishing my final exam and leaving one country, only to have my accommodation fall through on the flight, having to temporarily move into a three-bedroom apartment with eight strangers, all while knowing I had to start an internship in a few hours. Again, that's only my experience. All you need to know right now is that you have been selected for a reason. And when your time comes, whenever that may be, you will be able to take it on. I understand the feelings of imposter syndrome you may feel as you become acquainted with your fellow scholars, but I can assure you that after reading a number of applications in what has been an extraordinarily competitive year, you all absolutely deserve to be here. While no one can be sure about what 2021 will bring, what I am sure of is that you, as our 2021 scholars, will still find ways to deepen our connections in the Indo-Pacific, and I wish you all the very best. Congratulations again. Welcome to the new Colombo Plan Network, and I can't wait to hopefully visit you in country. Thank you. Thank you, Nick, for your engaging and insightful words about your NCP experience. I can certainly relate um, to the descriptions of the, the adventure that NCP is, um, not only the unexpected challenges and getting through them, but also the diverse range of connections um, and experiences that are so meaningful to my life even now and I'm sure into the future. And while we're facing a very different set of circumstances, I have no doubt that the 2021 scholars will take on the challenges and opportunities and make the very most of them. And that's why you're here today. All of our 2021 scholars have been assessed against the New Colombo Plan criteria of academic excellence, leadership and engagement in the community, adaptability and resilience, and their personal ability to contribute to the NCP objectives. The top ranked scholar for each location is acknowledged as the NCP fellow. And we also recognise the top ranked Indigenous scholar as the NCP Indigenous fellow. Please join me and DFAT representatives from all over the world in congratulating this year's 2021 NCP fellows. Hi, this is Will Nankovas from the Australian Mission to ASEAN. I'm here in Jakarta on the day that Vietnam has handed over its ASEAN Chair role to incoming Chair Brunei. I'm really excited to announce that the new ASEAN New Colombo Plan Fellow for 2021 is Joshua Saunders. Congratulations, Joshua. The team here is really looking forward to meeting you and working with you throughout your fellowship. I'm Deputy High Commissioner to India and Bhutan, Rod Hilton, and I'm excited to announce that Natalie Pearson is a 2021 New Colombo Plan Fellow for Bhutan. Well done, Natalie. You're going to have a wonderful time in the happy Himalayan Kingdom. I look forward to seeing you and other NCP scholars soon. I'm Pablo Kang, Australia's ambassador to Cambodia. I'm Luke Arnold, I'm the deputy ambassador. We're here at the Cambodian Royal Palace today to announce that the new Colombo Plan Fellow for Cambodia is... Kyle Mackendo. Oposato, Kyle. That means congratulations in Khmer. I'm Graham Fletcher and I'm standing at the Australian Embassy in Beijing and I'm delighted to announce that the new Colombo Plan Fellow for China for 2021 is Brielle Frigidevong. Congratulations, we look forward to seeing you up here.
Kia rana and g'day. My name's Chris Watkins. I'm the Australian High Commissioner to Cook Islands, and I'm delighted to announce Holly Gregory is the new Colombo Plan Fellow for Cook Islands. Congratulations, Holly. They're really focused on tourism here. It's a big part of the recovery plan, and a lot of Cook Islanders know Wollongong, where you're from, well. So we look forward to welcoming you. Well done. Casalelia Mango, I'm Takaro Steele from the Australian Embassy in Pompeii. I'm excited to announce the new Colombo Plan Fellow for the Federated States of Micronesia is Sophie Rowan. Congratulations. We look forward to seeing you in this spectacular country. My name is Ken Bakanasinga, coming to you all the way from the Australian High Commission, Suva, Fiji. I am pleased to announce that Jessica Wayne is the 2021 New Colombo Plan Fellow for Fiji. Congratulations, Jessica. We are looking forward to seeing you in Fiji soon. Now, Wally. Jenny Cheng is our 2021 New Colombo Plan Fellowship recipient for French Polynesia. Felicitations, Jenny. We look forward to seeing you and many other students here in the French Pacific in the coming years. Daiga Ho from Hong Kong. I'm Elizabeth Ward, Australian Consul General based here, standing next to this beautiful harbour to announce the new Colombo Plan Fellow, Emily Clements from the University of Melbourne. Congratulations, Emily. Looking forward to seeing you and new Colombo Plan scholars back here in Hong Kong as soon as you can. See you then. Namaste. I'm High Commissioner to India and Bhutan, Barry O'Farrell, here in India's bustling capital city, New Delhi, and I'm delighted to announce that the 2021 New Colombo Plan Fellow for India is Ria Pillai. Congratulations, Ria. Australia's team here across India look forward to meeting you and all NCP scholars next year. This is Gary Quinlan, uh, Australia's ambassador to Indonesia, and I'm very excited to announce the 2021 New Colombo Plan Fellow for Indonesia as Vlad Shuliak from the University of Southern Queensland. Congratulations, Vlad. We're looking very much forward to seeing you and all the New Colombo Plan scholars in Indonesia in the near future. My name's Tom Wilson from the Australian Embassy in Tokyo and I'm standing in front of the amazing Tokyo Tower. I'm excited to announce that the new Colombo Plan Fellow for Japan is Ebony Watts. Congratulations. We're really looking forward to meeting you soon. This is Andrew Golodzinowski standing outside the Australian High Commission here in Kuala Lumpur. Today it's my great honour to announce the name of the new Colombo Plan Fellow for Malaysia. It's Meg Phillips from the University of Tasmania. Congratulations Meg, we can't wait to meet you.
Assalamu alaikum. It's Tom Davis here from the Australian High Commission in Colombo. Uh, we're also accredited to the Maldives. And it's wonderful to be able to announce that the new Colombo Plan Fellow for the Maldives is Kayla Rowe. Congratulations, Kayla. You're going to have a fascinating time in the Maldives. It's a wonderful country. I'm Andrea Faulkner, Australia's Ambassador to Myanmar, and I'm speaking to you from our beautiful official residence. I'm excited to announce that the new Colombo Plan Fellow for Myanmar is Grace Mackley. Warmest congratulations to you, Grace. All of us at the Embassy are looking forward to welcoming you to Myanmar. Jenny Grant Kerno from the Australian Embassy in Kathmandu, Nepal. I'm so pleased to announce that Liam Holt is our new Colombo Plan Fellow for 2021. Liam, we are really excited to meet you and looking forward to welcoming you as soon as you can come over. Australian Deputy Consul General here in the Australian Consul General in the MIA, New Caledonia. It is my great pleasure to be here today to be able to share some fantastic news that Ella Sinclair will be our New Caledonia New Colombo Plan Fellow for 2021. Felicitation on Ella. We're very much looking forward to seeing you here in New MIA and in fact seeing all the New Colombo Plan scholars across the region soon. Bon voyage! Mabuha. My name's Steve Robinson and I'm the Australian Ambassador to the Philippines talking to you from our embassy here in Manila. And it's my great pleasure to congratulate Neam Foxcroft on being the 2021 new Colombo Plan Fellow to come to the Philippines next year. There's never been a better time to come to the Philippines because next year is our 75th anniversary of our diplomatic relationship. So Neam, we look forward to welcoming you as you come to the Philippines. Congratulations. Hello, my name's James, I'm from the Australian Embassy in the Republic of Korea and I'm joining you today outside the beautiful Gyeongbokgung Palace in the centre of Seoul. It's my great pleasure today to be able to announce the new Colombo Plan Fellow for the Republic of Korea for 2021 is Dylan Gore from the University of New South Wales. Dylan, congratulations, I'm really looking forward to welcoming you and the rest of our new Colombo Plan scholars to South Korea in 2021. See you then. for lover. My name is Sarah Moriarty and I'm the Australian High Commissioner to Samoa. I'm excited to announce the new Colombo Plan Fellow for Samoa is Annie van der Stoep from the University of Canberra. Malo lava. Congratulations Annie. Manuia ia soy fua. Bruce Gosper, the Australian High Commission in Singapore, here at this wonderful vantage point, Sky, looking across at Marina Bay Sands. With exciting news, Ricky Gao is the new Colombo Plan Fellow for 2021. He'll be joining us here in Singapore next year, together with the other new Colombo Plan scholars. We look forward to seeing you all. I'm Lachlan Strawn, the Australian High Commissioner to Solomon Islands. And I'm Vanessa Teotal, Senior Program Manager for Skills and Labour Mobility. 
We're here this morning in front of the National Parliament in Honiara with the wonderful news that Claire Rees is the 2021 New Colombo Plan Fellow for Solomon Islands. Congratulations, Claire. We look forward to seeing you and all the NCP scholars here in Honiara. Look in you. Bowen. Uh, this is Tom Davis from the Australian High Commission here in Colombo and Sri Lanka. Uh, I'm delighted to announce that the new Colombo Plan Fellow for Sri Lanka is Joshua Gully. Congratulations Joshua. We look forward to seeing you here really soon. This is Gary Cowan, representative of the Australian office in Taipei, and behind me, Taipei 101. I'm very pleased to announce that the 2021 New Colombo Plan Fellow for Taiwan is Maitland Batsina. Congratulations, Zhuhe Ni. Huan Ying Dao Taipei Lai. We look forward to seeing you in person in Taipei next year. I'm Alan McKinnon, Australian Ambassador to the Kingdom of Thailand. I'm standing inside the Australian Embassy in Bangkok in Thailand. I'm excited to announce that the new Colombo Plan Fellow for Thailand is... Misa Mojarabi! Congratulations! Looking forward to meeting you. Sawadikap. My name is Sarah DeZutton and I'm the Australian High Commissioner here in beautiful Port Vila, Vanuatu. I'm so excited to announce that the new Colombo Fellow for this year is Alexander Blackborough. Congratulations Alexander. We really look forward to welcoming you and the other NCP scholars here soon. Thank you too much. Hi, my name is Robin Muni. I'm the Australian Ambassador to Vietnam. And today I'm at Van Miel, the Temple of Literature, Vietnam's first national university which was built almost a thousand years ago. Van Miel has great significance for each new generation of Vietnamese students and educators, so it's a fitting site for today's celebrations. I'm very excited and pleased to announce that the new Colombo Plan Fellow for Vietnam is Morgan Drum. Congratulations, Morgan. We look forward to seeing you here very soon. I'm Tony Sheehan. I'm Indigenous Champion at the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. In this role, I've had the privilege of celebrating and reflecting on the contribution of Indigenous peoples to Australia's international diplomacy. Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander cultures and heritage are part of our national identity, and encouraging future Indigenous leaders is one of DFAT's key priorities, including through the new Colombo Plan. Indigenous Fellows play an important role in representing the voices and perspectives of Indigenous Australians right across the Indo-Pacific. They are outstanding role models to Indigenous students everywhere, indeed to all of us. It is my pleasure to announce and congratulate the New Colombo Plan's 2021 Indigenous Fellow, Anthea Moody. Anthea will study journalism at the University of the South Pacific in Fiji and plans to undertake an internship with the National Rugby League Pacific Outreach Program. Well done, Anthea. I'll follow your journey with great interest. Now, here's a message from Senator the Honourable Maurice Payne. Minister for Foreign Affairs and Minister for Women, to recognise the 2021 NCP Scholars and Fellows. Thank you, Ellen. I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we are meeting today. I pay my respects to Elders past, present and emerging, 
And I extend a welcome to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people joining us across the country. Welcome and congratulations also to the New Colombo Plan class of 2021. Next year, after a 2020 of great challenges, the New Colombo Plan will support 125 Australian undergraduate students from 38 universities with long-term scholarships to live, learn and connect across 26 locations. I'm particularly pleased with our scholars' growing interest in the Pacific, a record 23 students heading to Pacific nations this year. In a time of major global disruption, our scholars are demonstrating impressive enthusiasm, fortitude and dedication to enhancing Australia's relationships with the Indo-Pacific. This year has forced great change on us all. Many of our 2020 scholars' plans to study and intern overseas are on hold, and some are yet to travel at all. I'm confident, however, that this new generation of leaders will find friendships, create and grow durable networks, and deepen our ties to our region. The pandemic and the global recession do also create real opportunities for New Colombo Plan scholars to develop expertise and crucial relationships in what will be a more complex Indo-Pacific. It may not be the world we expected to see in 2021, but you have all been selected in part due to your strong skill set and commendable character. We have no doubt that you'll be excellent, agile and dynamic ambassadors for Australia in the Indo-Pacific especially in a testing environment. And when you return, the experiences and the friendships you will have built will serve not just you, but also Australia more broadly. You will bring home connections and skills that we will greatly need as a nation and as a region as we emerge from this pandemic. We look forward to seeing you in future leadership roles on our road to recovery. One of the strengths of this cohort of NCP students is your diversity. Amongst you are nine Indigenous scholars, the largest ever NCP cohort, 10 scholars living with a disability, 32 who speak a language other than English at home, 32 who are the first in their family to attend university, 44 from regional and remote Australia and 79 women. As you will have heard in the announcement of our fellows, we welcome Anthea Moody, Gangari woman from regional southwest Queensland, who is our 2021 New Colombo Plan Indigenous Fellow. Anthea's passion and international success in rugby league and athletics affirms Australia's strong affinity with sport and ability to unite people from diverse backgrounds. Anthea will take her enthusiasm to Fiji, a nation known for its great sporting culture, and she plans to intern with the NRL Pacific Outreach Program. I want to take this opportunity to thank our New Colombo Plan business champions and partners who continue to share their experience and expertise with scholars and alumni, particularly those unable to travel. I'd like to acknowledge those businesses who are supporting sponsoring scholarships in 2021, including Infosys, PwC, King & Wood Mallisons, GHD, Newcrest and NAB. Business support is a vital part of the success of this program. Your participation in NCP provides businesses with unique exposure in the long term. The leaders I meet who participated in the original Colombo plan many years ago still speak of their experience in Australia with great pride. Future leaders and host countries equally will not forget your participation in the NCP. On behalf of the Australian government, I wish you luck and I know your dynamism, agility and strength will ensure that you make the most of this unique opportunity. Thank you. Wonderful to hear from the Minister with those inspiring words. And now to the scholars themselves. We've all been seeing their real-time social media reactions here on the event website. And I'd also like to welcome in person Gemma Campbell, 2021 Singapore Scholar, with a sponsorship kindly provided by Infosys. Gemma will speak on behalf of our 2021 scholars. And my thanks as well to Minister Payne and everyone here today. I'm Gemma Campbell, and I'm honoured to be representing the NCP 2021 cohort. I want to acknowledge the significance of today for us all. Today is an opportunity to celebrate what each of us has achieved in becoming an NCP scholar. An NCP scholarship is something that would be celebrated at any time, 
but in the challenging year of COVID-19, each and every one of us can feel an even greater sense of pride and accomplishment. The NCP is a wonderful opportunity for all of us re to represent Australia and develop relationships with people in the Indo-Pacific. For me, my NCP journey started at the end of 2019, when I was fortunate enough to receive a new Colombo Plan Mobility Grant and spend the summer course in Cambodia. Spending time in a rural village, I had the chance to put my theoretical studies in technology to use in a practical way. I learned the valuable lesson that the only way to understand the needs of a community is to talk to and be around members of that community. I, it, it also taught me that in order to develop technology that is act, will actually be used by people, you need to collaborate with the people who will use it. My time in Cambodia motivated me to better understand cultures throughout the Indo-Pacific and challenge myself to apply for a new Colombo Plan scholarship. Through my NCP proposal, I plan, to develop, I plan to learn how technology is applied in the healthcare sector of the technologically advanced Singapore. Going out into the world and meeting such a variety of people and seeing where we fit in it is an exciting part of all scholars' programs. I look forward to being challenged by new cultures and, like many scholars, learning a new language. Through my NCP scholarship, I intend to continue learning how my degree can benefit the lives of others. It's safe to say, having spoken to scho other scholars from my own university, this is a sentiment we all share. I, ha I know that as 2021 scholars, we share a passion for the region. I have no doubt we will all form long-lasting relationships with a ri wide variety of people we meet on our NCP journey. Something else all of us scholars have in common is we've lived through a really difficult and tough year. At the moment, we all face a lot of uncertainty, including uncertainty as to when we're allowed to travel and start our NCP programs. However, receiving this scholarship definitely gives us something to, to look forward to. Uh, at this time of closed borders, the new Colombo Plan Scholarship is an excellent reminder that Australia is connected to a far greater region. For me, it is exciting to know that my new Colombo Plan experience will occur during a time of reconnecting with people across the Indo-Pacific region. On behalf of the cohort, I would like to thank all the teachers, fam families and those who have helped us along the way. I would also like to thank those in the NCP, DFAT and the Australian Government for encouraging our passion for the region. My fellow NCP scholars, I wish I could have met you in person today. While all of us as 2021 NCP scholars will have our own different journeys and our own personal experiences, as a group we share an excitement for the, opportun for the opportunity the program offers and I have no doubt that our paths will cross. Thanks Gemma. That brings us to the end of our proceedings today. Congratulations once again to our 2021 NCP scholars. And thank you to everyone for joining us today. Be sure to keep up with our NCP adventures through hashtag New Colombo Plan, because I'm sure once travel kicks off again, there'll be plenty of new adventures and amazing experiences to follow. And as we all say goodbye to those watching, a quick reminder to our scholars to jump over to our virtual networking rooms where we can get to know each other a little bit better. Thank you and goodbye, everyone. <laughs>